I'm at the house. I uh, figured I'd do some chainsaw maintenance. Uh, you know I have the steel MS251C and I've been using it a lot lately. You can see I've been, see this discoloration on the bar here, I've been uh, a little rough on it. So this looks, this means it got too hot and started changing colors there. So we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on this bad boy and I just have uh, a little brush and a towel. I've got some bar and chain oil and then this is the oil and gas mixture. I also have uh, a funnel to put the oil in. I've been uh, the other day in the woods I actually didn't close this all the way started to use it and dumped all the chain oil out onto my boot <laughs> I was so mad uh, and then I have a uh, a little Torx guy Torx bit um, thing from of course Harbor Freight and I think the T27 is what these um, screws here over the casing. I think the carburetor is in here. We'll find out. I think the carburetor is in here. We'll find out. And you can use a flathead screwdriver or a number, a T27 Torx bit to get in there. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick with this brush. I'm just kind of brushing some of the woods off of it, you know that we were using it pretty hard, like I said, the other day, and I want to get it ready to use again. So I'm just gonna brush all the big stuff off here. And then we're also gonna take the, take the bar and chain off. I'm probably gonna flip the bar upside down because of how hard I used it and the discoloration on the bar. Um, every time you do that maintenance, you're supposed to flip the bar so that you're not constantly running it on the same side. And I'll show you that in just a second. Just getting as much of the oil and sawdust, the big stuff, off with the brush that I can. And you can see here where I have the discoloration on the bar where either I was putting too much pressure or I let it get dull and this this discoloration means a little too much wear right there. So after we do that, I'll flip it around here so you can see on the different models have different ways to get this off. Some of them have a tool, uh, the, the series that is the, the E, it, it has E in the title, even though this one doesn't, I think this is the E, because everything is handled right here. So you have this guy right here, which is the bar tightener, and then you have this guy right here, which is the chain tightener. So if I need to tighten up the chain, I just have to do this you see the bar is a little looser now because this is open and then there's the chain tightener so I'm going to unscrew this and then you'll see what that does here takes that guard off and then see how dirty this is in here this is where the bar and chain sits see here's the the motor right here that actually turns the chain and then we've got quite a bit of buildup in here that we need to clean out and I'm, I'm gonna try to do this in between every like major use just to keep this thing running as well and as smoothly as possible Just like that. 
and all we did was unscrew this guy right here. Now you see how dirty the inside of this is, so we're going to give this a really good cleaning and probably better than I'm going to show here, but I'm just going to go over it really quickly with the brush and I'm going to clean this much better. So then you have the chain also, which I'm going to go over really good with the brush. There, there's a correct way to reinstall the chain, which I'll show. And then I'm also going to put this, I'm going to wrap this chain up. Well, wrap it up. I'm going to fold it up like this, put it in a little tin of gasoline, which I'll show later. And then here's our bar. I'm just going to clean this back up. This doesn't have to be spotless but it does, you can see that inside there, like this is just from a couple of days use. I've used this really two major days, right? So you saw me do uh, the big tree, which I, which I cut up, and then you saw me do like a bunch of the little trees in this chainsaw vlog. If you look at the earlier videos, you can, you can see me using the, using the chainsaw. So I'm just gonna, Clean all of this up, and then, like I said, I'll go over this in much more detail here. And then I'll show you guys how this sp sprocket thing here comes off, and then you, you flip the bar over. But essentially, you need to make sure that you get in that groove where the chain sits, because there's a lot of stuff in there. And then I'm going to use this back of this brush to get down in there. But you can also get like a uh, a little pick, like Harbor Freight has these little things that look like dental picks with orange handles that you can get and pick down in there to see if there's bigger stuff that needs to get out. But essentially, you don't have to make it look spotless, you're just trying to get all of the big gunk out of there. So, I mean, I think that's pretty good for the video and then I'll keep going a little bit more later off camera and then in here you want to make sure all of this gunk gets out of there you see this is the uh, you see this this port here is where the oil goes in this is the oiler and there's another one on the other side and you want to make sure those are clear so that the chain oil can get in there and then go around the bar. This is usually really dirty, so we're just gonna make sure we get this extra good. Because this is, see, I can see right here where all of this chain oil and sawdust is gunking up this spot. So I'm going to do a little bit more touch up to all of this off camera just to get it extra good and then I'll come back and go through uh, taking this um, housing here off and looking at the carburetor next. So I went downstairs and got this to put gasoline in to clean this. Uh, my wife said no, she's going to find me something else. So. Just know that, I mean, you can use degreaser or whatever you want. Some people don't like to use gasoline to clean stuff. Um, so you can use degreaser or whatever you want to use to clean your chain that isn't going to hurt it. Um, <clears throat> what else did I get? Oh, I, I wanted to show you this still two cycle engine oil. So you add this to a gallon of gasoline. I just have a little one gallon container here. The pressure always builds up in these. Anyways, I have a, a one gallon. It says one plus gallon, but anyways, so you fill this with a gallon of gas. You mix one of these in there. You don't have to shake it up. I'm probably just built up more pressure, but anyways, that's, that's the gasoline this takes. Uh, gasoline goes right here. You flip that up, unscrew it, pour the gasoline in, 
don't overflow. Put that back in, spin it around until it gets to the lock, and then put that down. Same thing for the oil, for the chain salt, for the chain and bar oil. Uh, I just have this still bar and chain lubricant. <clears throat> I put that in with a funnel. It goes right up here. Same thing, flip that up, spin it around. Don't overfill because this will go everywhere. Put it in there. Make sure this seats properly because like I said, the last time I went out, there we go. And lock. I didn't seat that properly and it dumped all over my boot. Like all of it. See, I've got this fairly clean now. I'm actually going to, actually let's do that carburetor thing that I talked about first. We got the T27. We're gonna undo these screws around the casing. And then like I said also, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver. I just had this. I went and got a flathead because I need that to flip the bar sprocket. Okay, so that's with the with the torx bit. And then with the flathead, same thing. Unscrew these. Take that off. And then our air filter looks really good. So I'm not gonna mess with this. This is where the spark plug is. <clears throat> here's, your, here's where you change your spark plug. Air filter. Like I said, the air filter still looks good. It's not even dirty inside here. Only the outside is really dirty. I'm not gonna, I haven't read how to dig into this carburetor, so I'm not going to right now, even though I'm like playing with it. Okay, I said I wasn't going to, but it looks like the air filter just twists off there. And then let's put this, actually, it doesn't even twist, it actually snaps on. So I just push it down and twist it to the right. All of this looks good, so I'm just gonna put this housing back on. Thank you. Is it dirty? It's got holes in the bottom. Yeah, we don't have holes in the bottom. <laughs> So I'll put these, this housing back on here. Still got to get something to clean the, the chain with. But otherwise, our other than, other than I showed you how, I'm not going to just do it, but other than adding the oil and the gas, our, our maintenance for right now is done. We're going to take the bar here there's there's this little sprocket and this is this is what actually tightens the bar when you spin this guy Let's see spins that tightens the the bar and then this right here is what should tighten the chain Fia be quiet so to flip this bar, there is a flathead screw on the other side of this. Fia, come on. There's a flathead screw on the other side of this that we're just going to take out. And we're just going to reverse everything. Okay. Oh, we need to clean this some more. Look at that. So that's your bar. It is reversible. It has oiling points on both sides. There's an oiling point here and an oiling point here. You want to make sure those are not clogged up. Okay. 
And if you had like a little dental pick tool, like I was talking about earlier, you would want to get in there. I don't have that tool, but it looks pretty good. So I'm going to clean this a little bit more just because it looks a little gross. very nice out tonight. It's been really cold here in Middle Tennessee lately. And uh, I'm actually north Middle Tennessee in Clarksville, Montgomery County, but um, north of Nashville, about 45 minutes north of Nashville. But it is, it is beautiful here tonight. I wish I'd gotten out to the ridge today, but I didn't get to. I've been working from home with the COVID-19 stuff going on, so looks like this guy is cleaned up okay so <clears throat> this is how it was on all right see with this heavy use side down we're gonna flip it so that this is the way it's on so still we'll be upside down that's fine um, and to do that, we need to make sure this guy gets put back on correctly. So this will go on the outside like this, right? And then uh, there's only one screw here, but uh, I believe this was on the bottom. <laughs> I should have checked. You guys can let me know if it wasn't. I believe this screw was on... Oh, we built up some magnetism here. See, there are these two, one, two little things that fit right in here. This spins, and I believe our little retaining screw is on the bottom. So that's where we're going to put it. Come on. This will make your bar last longer if every time you maintain it, you, you flip it. Okay, there we go. See how tight that's supposed to be. We still got freely spin all the way this way and all the way this way. And you see that there's like a spiral on here and that runs back and forward. It scoots the bar out and back. So that's how you tension your bar here and then the this up here spins that so this loosens this so that it can spin and then you tighten it here and it runs your bar out and tightens your chain on there that's the whole easy tighten that's what the E stands for when you're looking at all of the different chainsaw types um, it's the easy something or other I don't want to over torque this, but I'm always scared that things aren't torqued enough. So no, that looks good. We get all the way both ways. I am going to clean this chain, then we'll be putting this back on here. Chain goes back over this, the chain has a specific direction. Put this guy back on, tighten it down, and then we'll uh, start her up. Okay, I couldn't find a better container, so I did just put some gasoline in this. And uh, I don't think this is recommended. I'm, I'm positive that there's actually like a degreaser or a, a cleaner that is the recommended cleaner for, and you guys are gonna tell me why this is bad. But this is the way my granddaddy did it, and I'm sure like there's better ways to do it now, and I don't have them 
leave them in the comments below and I'll try them next time. But I, I have a bottle of degreaser. <laughs> so I do have, I'm just being lazy. So I do have a, a thing of degreaser downstairs that would that you dilute one to 150 with water and it probably does the same thing in a safer way. So I'm sorry. I'm a horrible example. My children should no longer look up to me. And usually you just let this sit and everything drops off, but I, I don't have enough buildup to let it sit. I'm just gonna get it soaked, brush it off and throw it back on. because I can already see like all of the, it's not really built up, it's only a couple of days worth. And you can see, even after just that little bit, how much cleaner it looks. So I'm gonna dry this off, take care of this mess, uh, and then we'll look at putting the chain back on and putting it back together. And it's time to put this bad boy back together. So, uh, the chain goes in a very specific direction. Um, there is probably something on the chain that tells you what that direction is, but the, the teeth bite forward. So, um, it runs like this. <laughs> That's pretty dumb, but the, the teeth bite forward. So if you look at the teeth, this is this is the tooth right here. That go that needs to be forward. So it runs like this. Okay. We are going to put the bar on there like this. Uh, actually, let's put this on first. And you'll see at the end here, there are these guys on the end. These, um, I don't know what anything's called on this, but there are channels that the, 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 the chain runs in that we should probably put a dab of oil in. I bet you're supposed to put a dab of oil in. So I'm gonna put this chain on here like this, and then I'm gonna go back, because I've already started this, I'm gonna go back and put a dab of oil in this. Let's see, that's the direction the teeth run. The teeth run toward the end of the bar. And if there's a better way to do this, you guys let me know. And I'm probably supposed to have like gloves on or something too. But, so this is gonna go over the end down there. That's gonna go right on there. Just like so. Okay. Let that hang off for a second. This is probably supposed to run to the end. See how this turns and loosens or tightens the chain? So I'm gonna hold the chain on here like this, and then I'm gonna, uh, nope, that's loosening it. I'm gonna turn this backwards to tighten up my chain. Okay. Why am I at the floor? Yeah, looks good. So see, my chain is facing this way. It's on back here. This is on. This guy sits right back on here and there's a this is the threaded uh, nut that catches this bolt right here and holds that on so we're gonna throw that right on there get this on all right so we've got that tightened down and let's see what our chain looks like the chain is actually pretty good but if you need to loosen or tighten your chain, you loosen this a little bit and then make sure your chain brake is off so it'll turn. Chain brake off. This right here is how we tighten and loosen our chain. And that thing, see how that just dropped down? That thing we saw turning earlier, this is what spins this. 
and it pushes the bar out or in. So loosen this guy, tighten the chain until you're about, I don't know, I'm still not good at how tight the chain should be, but I know it should snap back in. It should come down and then snap back in. I'm gonna say, I'm always over torquing stuff, but I'm gonna say that that's good. You're supposed to lift up on the bar and then tighten this guy back down. All right, so that guy is, and again, I'm over torquing. That guy's tight, chain slops in, still runs freely. If it doesn't run freely, you've tightened it too tight. Put the chain brake back on, and all I have left to do now is add the oil and gas, fire her up, and make sure this thing doesn't fly off and kill everybody, and then we should be good. So I'm going to add the oil and gas off camera. Um, I mean, it's you take the oil, you pour it in, turn it back on, gas, pour it in, and you're good. So I'm going to do that off camera because my kids won't quit screaming in the yard. And then I'll come back on, start her up, make sure she works. All right, see you in a second. All right, we're ready for our, our final check. Um, actually a little, <laughs> this is the first time I've done this, so, all right, the chain brake is on, um, you pull the trigger, put this all the way down to there to burp it, there it was, that was the burp, and I, I like the leg method, so, but I'll do it this way just because we're here, um, back up to there. Let me burp it again. Go all the way down to burp. Okay, should be good. Now we come back up to normal. Chain brake on. It again just to make sure. Okay. Now we're back up to regular. It's all the way down. Back up to regular. good uh next video we'll sharpen it and cut some more wood all right thanks guys uh leave comments below tips recommendations let me know what you think and i'll see you on the ridge